All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at the old workhorse, the Canon EOS 50D. What we're going to do is breathe some new life into it by giving it video capabilities by installing the Magic Lantern firmware. First thing you're going to need is a fully charged Canon battery. You're going to need to remove any kind of battery grip you might have on it. And you'll need at least a 16 gigabyte compact flash card. Now the first thing you're going to want to do to check the firmware is to make sure that your dial is rotated to M. And turn your camera on. As soon as it boots up, you're going to want to press the menu button. And then you're going to want to toggle over to the third wrench where you can see the firmware at the very bottom. Now this firmware is 1.0.9 which is the latest firmware for the Canon EOS 50D. I did update this camera some time ago from version 1.0.3 but today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download the, the uh, firmware from the Canon website, install it on the flash drive, and then install it into the camera. And you're going to want to format your card in the camera. So we're going to go back to into the menu. We're going to go back to the first wrench. Select format. Spin the dial to OK. And press select again. And the card is now formatted. Okay guys, once you've placed your compact flash card into your card reader, you want to go to the Canon USA website. I'll provide the link in the show notes below. You go down to the bottom of the page and you select the operating system, which in my case is going to be Windows. You select your OS version. I'm using Vista. You're going to come down here and select Firmware and then click on EOS 50D firmware version 1.0.9 for Windows. Scroll down and download the file I agree you begin downloading. Then you're going to need to extract the file. Go ahead and click on it. And extract the files into the folder that you want to. And once that's done you're going to need to open up your compact flash card and then transfer this file right here, the 50D00109FIR. You're going to want to move this into the root directory. And now we can install it into the Canon camera. Okay guys, coming back to the camera, we're going to want to install the compact flash card back into the camera again. Make sure that your dial is still on M. Turn on the camera. As soon as it boots, go back into the menu. Go back to the third wrench. Select firmware. And we are going to go ahead and update it even though it's um, at its current update firmware. Just make sure that you have a, a fully charged battery when you do it. And then just select from the list right there, this list right here, the firmware. And it'll say whatever version to 1.0.9. It'll still do it even though it's got the current version in it. We select OK and we're done camera reboots. And all you have to do is just shut it off. Actually what we're going to do, instead of shutting it off, we're going to go back into the menu because now we need to update the firmware to the Magic Lantern firmware. So we're going to go back over to the third wrench. We're going to format the card again. Once we're done, we're going to go ahead and shut the camera off. 
remove the compact flash card. Okay, after we put our compact flash card back into our card reader, we're going to come to the Magic Lantern website. And again, I've provided the link into the show notes so that you can just go right to it. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Download Magic Lantern button is right here. Click on it. Once it's done downloading, you're going to need to extract the files. Then you're going to need to put the files into the card. You need to select all of these files right here. You don't need the two PDF files. Put these files right here, and you just need to drag them all over to the root directory of the card. And once you're done with that, you can install it into the Canon camera. Okay, now we're going to install Magic Lantern firmware into the Canon. We're going to, again, put the card back in the slot. Make sure that your dial is on in. Turn on the camera. Go to menu. Make sure you're back at the third wrench and selected firmware. Click on OK. It reboots. And it's going to go through this process right here. Now, you're going to get this green screen like this, all the green text. That's good. It says now you can restart your camera. So that's what we're going to do. Turn it off. Now I'm going to install a lens on this real quick. Now what I usually do, because this is a whole new world when you enter DSLR video recording, is I put the lens on manual because autofocus really doesn't work. Turn the camera back on again. We're going to go back into the menu. And there we you can see the version 1.0.9 ML, which is Magic Lantern version 2.3. Okay, so I'm going to turn the menu back off again. We're going to hit the live view. I'm going to press this button right here. We're going to hold it until we get into this menu right here. And then we're going to scroll over to the left until we get to the video camera there. So there it is, guys. That is the camera I used to record my video today. It is a Canon Bixia HF-M31. And I have the Zoom H1 hooked up for recording audio. I am some headsets so that I can hear my audio today. Um, I have a screen reflector that is reflecting the light from a softbox overhead and uh, I'm recording this with the Canon 50D right now with the uh, Magic Lantern soft uh, firmware actually installed in it. So if you like the video be sure to subscribe to my channel. There's more to come. I'm going to be doing some more tutorials um, some reviews, uh, kind of do-it-yourself type videos that I, I have an interest in. Uh, like the video, pass it along, share it with somebody else. Be sure to check out my blog. I'll have the description as well as the link to the websites where you get the firmware for the Canon EOS 50D in the description below for the show notes. And uh, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today, and I'll be talking to you soon.